Welcome back to Ramsey Land. Today I want to share with you the precipitation of ferric hydroxide. Check this out. So all I'm using in this investigation is ferric chloride, sodium hydroxide, one graduated cylinder with 350 milliliters of distilled water, a second graduated cylinder with 70 milliliters of water, my dropper, and a spoon. First, I'll create an aqueous solution of sodium hydroxide by adding eight grams of sodium hydroxide to 70 milliliters of distilled water. Next, create an aqueous solution of ferric chloride by adding 12 grams of ferric chloride to 350 milliliters of distilled water. Ferric chloride is also called iron chloride as the Latin name for iron is ferrum. Okay, once both solutions are aqueous, you're ready to observe the double displacement reaction of sodium hydroxide and ferric chloride. As you combine the two, sodium will trade places with iron and create the insoluble precipitant ferric hydroxide. So here's my solution of sodium hydroxide. You can see that it's clear. I'm gonna get close to my solution of ferric chloride and you will see the precipitation of ferric hydroxide. Here we go. Look at that. Here's a little more. Just awesome. Now, as you see that insoluble solid ferric hydroxide just know that that's used for all kinds of things. It's used to treat anemia, iron deficiency in people, in the construction business. It's used to make bricks. It's used to treat water, to purify water. All kinds of uses for ferric hydroxide. Let's add some more and see that reaction. Here we go. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? So what's going on in this beautiful double displacement reaction is you begin with your reactants, your NaOH, that's the sodium hydroxide, your FeCl3, that's the ferric chloride or the iron chloride. And when they come together, an amazing thing happens. The iron trades places with the sodium. So instead of sodium hydroxide, you get the amazing precipitant iron hydroxide or ferric hydroxide. That was the reddish brown insoluble solid that you saw fall out of the solution and instead of sodium hydroxide, you get the product sodium chloride in this beautiful reaction. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's edition of Ramsey Land, and I'll see you next time.